All right, guys and girls. Sunday night prep work, Coach Burt, 907. A little bit late tonight. Okay? A little bit late tonight. You know why? Let's see if I can get over in the light a little bit more. Uh, a little bit late because I had to fly two or three different cities to get to Fort Smith, Arkansas. <laughs> oh, Lord, how mercy. Where is Fort Smith, Arkansas, folks? Can anybody pick it up on a map? That's where I'm at. I'm going to be speaking tomorrow to 200 teachers. Uh, to crank up that prey drive, and man, I'm excited about uh, I'm excited about rolling in there tomorrow uh, to crank up 200 teachers, kick their kick their prey drive off, and uh, it's going to be an incredible incredible morning. So tomorrow I'm going to be speaking there, and I was thinking as I flew into Fort Smith, Arkansas uh, tonight, Brian White, you know, my first question I always ask myself, like, you know, man, what am I doing? 31 years I've been doing this, and I'm going to say this to, to make a point, uh, to drive home a point about a greatness factory. Um, the, the reason you do what you do is because it feeds something inside of you, okay? And I know there's a group, there's a group out there that got, you know, offended by something I said a few weeks ago, and what, what, I, what I was saying there is, man, the pros do things they don't they don't want to do to get to somewhere they're trying to get to. Okay, today I was on a plane from one o'clock until six o'clock. Had to go all the way to Dallas and then Dallas to Fort Smith. It's a long day of flying. And nobody in their right mind enjoy, enjoys that. Okay, well maybe I did enjoy it because I get spent a lot of time drawing things up. But more than anything, you do things because of other reasons. And as I was drawing up the PowerPoint for tomorrow, because I typically wait right till the last minute to draw it up because I get inspiration and I do it. I'm doing it because te teachers played an important role in my life. Coaches played an important role in my life. I wouldn't be where I am today without coaches that believed in me or a, an elementary teacher or a high school coach or somebody who... Uh, John Hart, who believed in me when maybe I didn't believe in me, who saw something in me, who encouraged me. So the point out there for all the people who have to do some things they don't want to do to get to something that they really enjoy doing. See, the more I thought about it tomorrow, I'm like, man, it's going to be awesome, man. I got 200 teachers. It's a chance to impact people. We got our success schools uh, for young people. I'm thinking, man, we're going to go in there and reactivate the prey drive in some of these, some of these people. Maybe not everybody. Maybe not everybody's going to be open or inviting to it, but somebody is. And that's why I'm here. So tonight I want to talk about the Greatness Factory. Uh, Albert, the Greatness Factory is one place to manufacture your greatness. And it is both a physical space in downtown Nashville where, where I believe people from all over the world will come to work, to learn, to grow, connect. I think people from out of state will have offices there. They'll have shared memberships. They'll be using our state-of-the-art theater They'll be in our podcast studios. They'll be in our uh, dream incubation, dream foundry that's on the third level or flex space. So a greatness factory is one place where you can go to manufacture your greatness. And the reason I'm building a greatness factory is because where do you go? Like if you're in Fort Smith, Arkansas, and 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 as, as A.O. Williams said, dadgummit, you decided, you woke up and you said, dadgummit, I'm going to go be great. I'm going to go step into my potential. Where do you go? You don't go to the YMCA. Churches are not equipped to help people with their potential. Uh, schools are not equipped to do it. Where Where do you go? You, so, so in Nashville, you're going to go to a greatness factory. And it's a physical location. It should be opening somewhere around October, November, December. Um, you know, maybe January. We're just every day we're, 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 we're looking for that. And, and it's a place to go to step into your greatness. And it's, there's a bigger theme here. And the theme is, is you are made up of four parts. A body that's physical, a mind that's mental, a heart that's emotional, a spirit that's spiritual, uh, Moshita Pettis. And, and I'm a believer that you need to place your potential in environments where you can become great. Where you are around other people who have a desire to be great. They are no longer living mediocre lives. Okay, they are no longer living complacent lives. They want to get up in the morning, get dressed, 
and get to a greatness factor. They want to be inspired by great teachers and coaches. They want to be around other people doing big things. There's going to be a lot of exchange. There's going to be private masterminds. There's going to be me teaching courses. And then once we have the first one up, we're going to start moving these things very quickly around the country. And uh, I was just drawing up everything that people get when they work at the Greatness Factory. This is what I do on the planes, folks. I just sit there and go and go and go. Okay? And what I wrote up on the plane is that at the Greatness Factory, monthly activation events. It's going to be organic. It's going to be easy to network with people because there's going to be monthly events. And guess what? Everybody who's there wants to be great. Okay, pop-up coaching sessions with Coach Burt. When I'm in town, I'm going to lead the morning sales rallies. Wouldn't it be cool to go to work and old Coach Burt, get Coach Burt to be your coach on Monday morning, get the prey drive activated like I'm doing for these teachers? Live virtual events. So when I'm doing events at the Greatness Factor, they're going to be live stream around the world to all of them. I'm going to be pers- I'm gonna be moving to person of interest next year, which is going to be the, the coaching uh, program that everybody who's a member, okay, uh, everybody is a member it's going to get access to the coaching program. Every member has a chance to get better. You have to ask me about what, what city in Florida. I may be coming to Florida at some point. Uh, so, event schedules, okay? Locker room is something I'm going to be doing where where it's like TED Talks, but it's locker room talks. 18 minutes, major person, high-level masterminding. These are all the things that are going to be happening at a greatness factory. Now, here's what I'm going to tell these teachers tomorrow. A school can become a greatness factory. See, my women's basketball program was a greatness factory, Batman. And yes, I will be coming to Tampa at some point. I don't know when, but I will be coming to Tampa. I come to Florida a lot. Uh, Melbourne, it's been a minute since I've been to Melbourne, but somewhere close there most likely. Um, So see, your football program can become a greatness factory. See, this week when I'm in New Jersey, I'm going to speak to a football team while I'm up there. Um... A school can be a greatness factory. Uh, my, my John Lyle, my son's going to Montessori. Today was his first day of Montessori. That, that's a greatness factory. So a greatness factory, I want you to broaden the term a little bit. Yes, I'm building a physical Allen Evans 8,000 square foot greatness factory. That is a real estate, commercial real estate play that is sexied up with coaching, training, speaking, state of the art auditorium, theater, uh, Dream Foundry, a foundry is a place where they manufacture raw material, but you you know you can build your own little greatness factory, which is a place people come to become great. So this is what's going what, what I'm going to convince the teachers of tomorrow is that they they can't inspire the students to be great till they make a decision to be great. They can't inspire other people to find their voice until they have found their voice. So as you come into the week, guys, you got to ask yourself, man, am I getting up every day and going to the complacency factory? where I just go through the motions and I'm, I'm, I'm just mediocre, which means halfway up the mountain, complacency, gradual settling to a place of mediocrity, or am I freaking building my own greatness factory where people come in with raw material, some knowledge, some skill, some desire, some confidence, and they leave, boom, manufactured at a much higher level. And I'm using that term greatness factory, manufacturing your greatness because one of my deals is the way you package a concept is everything. So, this is what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Now, you say, Coach, why would you go to Fort Smith, Arkansas, and why would you speak to teachers, and why would you do this? Do you, do you think the education system is broken? I think parts of the education system is certainly broken. I think there's a lot of teachers out here there who are doing the best they can, man. I think there are some teachers that need to... Uh, go find something else to do because they lost their fire and passion but maybe they just haven't had the prey drive reactivated maybe they just need somebody to come into their life and coach them if they're humble and hungry and coachable i worked with great teachers when i was a high school coach and i worked with terrible teachers i worked with positive teachers and i worked with negative teachers i work with people who are hungry to get better and people who will never get better okay it's just the facts man so so i just want to encourage you i don't know what you're building because I wrote down one of my unique abilities on the plane. This is the beauty of traveling a lot. is spending time with yourself thinking. I wrote down one of my unique abilities was taking a concept and making that concept better. Meaning improving that concept. Okay? It wouldn't, it wouldn't like there wouldn't shared office spaces to work out there. They're everywhere. But none of them allow a person to get coaching while they're there. 
None of those people have organic activation events like I'm having at the Greatest Factory. None of those really have this kind of cool state-of-the-art auditorium. None of those places, I can go to work and get better. So I can just go work at a lot of those places. So what I do is I take concepts that are out there and I try to improve upon those concepts. And I, and I look for problems, recurring problems in the marketplace. So money changes hands when problems are solved. So the Greatness Factory is a, both a physical place and an online place that you can go to manufacture your greatness. It's where inspiration meets execution. So you're gonna see me push this a lot. I love real estate and I love coaching. And if you see this real estate, you're gonna go, man, that's some cool real estate. Downtown Nashville, two blocks off. But listen, we may have one in Tampa. We may have one in Arkansas. We may have one in Chattanooga. We may have one in uh, Los Angeles. We may have one in Miami, Florida. So once we get this thing rolling, it's gonna be like, let's just get it rolling, man. Let's not have one of them, let's have a 100 of them or a thousand of them for that make. There was 400 WeWork locations when that thing was rolling. And if they would have been physically responsible, they'd have made billions of dollars, man. Okay, so so you're gonna see me talk about this more and you say, what does this got to do with the coaching that you do? I call it intentional congruence. It's where everything feeds everything. If you love real estate and you love coaching, how do you combine real estate and coaching? Okay, if you love doing events, and you love inspirational places, why don't you have a lodge and a greatness factory? All right, Travis? So what I'm trying to do is take things I love, build a life around them, and help a lot of people, man. That's really what I'm trying to do. So I'm in Fort Smith, Arkansas. You say, why am I here? Because one of our good clients asked me to come here. And I said, man, I'll, I'll do it. I'd be happy to do it. Okay, so I'm excited about the morning. So I got to get a good night's sleep. It's 919. I just got to work out in. I got to get a good night's rest and be ready to go in the morning because we're going to be up and at it early in the morning, okay? Listen, everybody needs a coach in life. I got Monster Nation coming. If you haven't got your ticket, it's filling up quick, okay? I've got uh, uh, I've got another coaching certification coming up uh, 28th and 29th. If you're serious about learning how to make money with coaching, get in a room with somebody who knows how to do it, right, Craig Nestor? So, so we got a lot of stuff going on. Monster Nation, uh, coaching certification, make couples retreat, may have one or two spots left. Pastor Ken, I don't know, because we're coming down the home stretch on that one in November. We got a lot of stuff going on, man. I'm out there speaking this week. I'll be in New Jersey on Wednesday. I'm doing a bank uh, on Tuesday at the Lodge, spending a full day with them on Tactical Connection. That's a private event. Um, and then I'm coming to Jersey and, and Philly on Wednesday through Friday of this week. Okay, so guys, we're out there practicing what we preach, which is building greatness in people. So one place to manufacture your greatness, building that greatness factory. When I'm down there this week, I'll take some pictures of it because the office, the auditorium, I suspect when I go back this week, the auditorium is, all the levels are, are being built. The offices are built. They're big, man, much bigger than I thought. So I'm excited about helping people this week. You guys have a great week, okay? Everybody needs a coach.